Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here, and in this video I'm excited to uh, show you guys Xano snippets, which are a very easy and quick way where you can share uh, an API endpoint or a collection of API endpoints with other Xano uh, community members. Um, so from our website on xano.com snippet, you can browse uh, existing snippets that you might want to actually install in your own workspace. So for example, if I clip, click on this uh, creative agency project, uh, you can see a quick description, a video that's optional to include. Um, to explain it, you can see what's included. This one has 12 API endpoints, uh, two database tables with four records, um, and there's some additional information. You can either preview the snippet. Um, let's say you're new to Xano and you just want to try it out in an anonymous workspace. You can go ahead and do that. You can work on it. You can um, add new schema, endpoints, etc. And if you want to end up claiming um, that snippet and the work you've done, you can just sign up for a Xano account and that data will be transferred over. Or if you already have a Xano account and you see a snippet you want to use, you can hit add to an existing account. It'll be prompted to log in and it'll be added to your instance and you can add it to any of your workspaces. So let's go ahead and I'll jump to Xano and I'll show you actually how you can uh, very easily create a snippet. So you can create snippets from any um, API endpoint. So for example, I'm just going to create a very simple one. It just takes in a birth date and it calculates uh, someone's age. Uh, very simple snippet, but I just want to be able to show you guys the flow here. So if we look up in the top right here, there's this button that says snippet, create a snippet to share with others. Um, so I can actually go ahead and select that. We can give this snippet a name and I'll say um, age calculation, uh, a little description too. I'll just say uh, this snippet calculates age, make sure I spell that right, calculates uh, age of a person uh, with a timestamp input. Um, if there is a, a YouTube video or Loom video, you can go ahead and add that there. I might add this uh, for this one. You can add an additional link. If there's more information, I think you get up to three links. Um, you can add a tag too. So maybe I might just say something like uh, timestamp because this deals with timestamps. You can also add uh, what's included. So for example, if you have a collection of endpoints you want to share, you can go ahead and select this. Um, any, so if you want to add more endpoints from your same group, you can hit this little style. I just have this uh, other demo one in here. I won't actually add it, but if I, I do that, now you can see there's also database tables included. So when I actually go ahead and click on this table, I can choose if I want to uh, customize the schema that's included or maybe include any records. Um, oftentimes, we know that a lot of API endpoints require actual records um, in a database table to actually work correctly. So maybe you want to create something to share, add a dummy record or two, uh, for the endpoint to actually run properly. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, just remove this demo one. We're just going to do the age one. But as you can see, you can uh, see everything that's included in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create the snippet. I'll hit create. And then we'll see that the snippet has been created. It's available if we go back to xano.com snippet. And we have a little shareable link. So we can just click this and immediately share it with the world. Um, I'll go ahead and just paste this in and we can go ahead and look at the snippet um, that I created and here it is and now anyone can go ahead and add this uh, logic very quickly to their workspace if they don't want to recreate it. Lastly I'll just show you how you can add this to an existing account so I'll just go ahead and click this. I'm prompted to log in. Once I log in I choose what instance I want to add it to. I'll go ahead and hit add to instance. And now it says that the Xano snippet has been added to my instance. So if I go back to Xano, I can open up uh, my marketplace here and go to the purchase tab. And here in the purchase tab, I can uh, right away see here's this blue icon for snippets and there's my age calculation one. So even though I do already have it um, in this workspace here, I could just go ahead and hit install snippet and then add it uh, and then use it in my workspace. Um, so there you have it. Uh, that's it for snippets. Uh, please go and create some so that other people in the community can start uh, reusing uh, and any valuable or uh, logic that might enhance 
uh, their own projects. So really excited to see what you guys are gonna create with this um, and go build some snippets.